now we are done with this creating function now we are going to perform javascript and ajax i'll just come to script.js and we have already done this one on click event for editing below this i am having this one on click on click event for adding user button okay whenever we click on this user button i just have to clear the entire form so we have already performed this one now we are just going to perform on click event for deleting the function okay whenever i click on the delete button the data should be deleted okay now here i'm just going to write that one i'll just write here document okay whenever my document and here i'm just going to write click and inside this let me just come up and here i have already given the class for this one okay whenever i click on this delete icon i have given this class so here i'm just accessing that one now here i'll be writing a dot okay this particular user and now i just have to run the function now inside this i'm just going to write here e in this i just want to prevent this one so i'm just passing this event object okay i have just done the same thing whatever we have done previously now here i'll be writing e dot prevent default now below this i'm just going to create one variable let me just write here uid and from top let me just copy okay i don't have to waste your time i'll just copy this one and here i'm just going to paste okay again i just have to copy i'll just come here i'll copy this one and here i'm just going to paste okay now which means that whichever id i click i'm just accessing that id i'm storing inside this uid variable okay i have done this one now here whenever i click on this i'm getting that confirmation message okay pop up message are you sure you want to delete are you sure you want to delete uh, delete this user okay something like this okay let me just write like this okay it will be asking me for this confirmation whenever i click on the user okay whenever i click on the delete icon this will be asking me for this confirmation okay now once i am done with this now i am just going to perform the ajax here i am having this one and inside this i just have to confirm this so here i just have to write here confirm and this i am just going to closing it here okay this is how we are going to perform i'll be performing all the ajax operation now let me just come here i'll just copy this ajax and here i'm going to paste okay this is how we are going to perform first i'm just going to confirm this one okay only if i give okay i'll be coming inside this one and whatever i give here that actions will be performed okay now here everything will be same url will be the same thing and here i'm having the type data type and data will also be the same thing now instead of this let me just write the action as delete user and here i'm having this before send okay this is how then next i'm just going to come here i'll just copy this error i'll copy this one and here i'm just going to paste okay this is before and here i'm just going to paste that error okay now let me just close this if statements okay only for that i'm getting this error let me just close this one and also i'll be closing this if okay this is the error this is the before and here inside this ajax i have just performed this one okay this is completely ajax and this whatever i have closed that is for if statement and this is for my document okay whatever i have closed here okay that is for my document inside this i have just prevented this one okay whenever i click on this delete button i don't want any action should be performed so i am just preventing that one and then i am just accessing the id okay whichever icon i click i am just accessing that id i am storing inside this uid variable okay this is how we are going to access that one from the data and inside this i am just accessing the id and here once i access i am just confirming that whether i want to delete this user or no when i click on okay let me just come here okay this is the demo project when i click on okay the data will be deleted when i click on cancel you can see the data is not deleted but when i click on okay the data this ramesh data is been deleted and here i'll be getting message user has been deleted successfully okay we are going to perform that one okay this is how we are going to perform and url is get json everything is fine before sending i just want to wait for some time and then here i'll be having this error okay now once we are done with this now here i am having this delete user i'll just copy this now inside this ajax.php i'm just going to perform that one now here i'll just come to ajax.php and below this okay we are having get all users we are having performing editing now here perform deleting below this i'll be writing here if dollar action if it is equal to equal to this particular action okay if my action is equal to delete users then then only i want to delete that one before that let me just copy this entire thing and here i'm just going to paste 
okay you can give any variable name i'm just going to give here user id okay if you keep player id then also it is going to work i just don't want you to get confused so i'm just writing a separate variable if you write here then also you will not have any issues if you write another variable then also you will not be having any issues but you should be careful that what variable you are using and which action you are using that one okay now below this i'm just going to check the condition if my dollar user empty if my dollar user id okay if it is not empty only then i have to perform so here i just have to write here not empty okay if my user id whenever i click on this if it is not empty only then i am going to come inside this one and i have to call that delete user function okay whatever i have created now here i am just going to create one variable is deleted and inside this i am just going to create the object for that one let me just write proper spelling and here i'll be creating the object obj and inside this i am just going to call that function inside script.js not inside script.js sorry inside user.php i have created this function i am just going to call that function here okay let me just copy again and here i am just going to paste that one and inside this i am just going to access this one okay this i am just going to pass as the parameter okay because inside user function inside this delete function we have already passed this parameter you can see we have passed this parameter so inside this i am just passing this one now whatever id i am getting here whatever id i will be getting here that will be passed here and that now this function if it is called it is going to come inside user.php and it is going to delete the data from the database okay now here i am having this one i have just called that function now here i am just going to check if is deleted okay let me just write here dollar symbol if if it is deleted if the data is deleted then here i am just going to display that message user is deleted or not so let me just create one variable display message and inside this i am just going to check that one i'll be writing here delete and inside this i am just going to pass here one okay which means that the data is deleted okay. else if the data is not deleted if i cancel that one i am just going to copy this and here i'm going to paste and instead of this i'm just going to write here zero now one means the data is deleted zero means the data is not deleted and the data will be there inside my database and also inside my website okay i'm just checking that one here if okay if i'm getting something from here i'm just checking that if the data is deleted only then i have to display this message or else i should not display any message here then whatever data i'll be getting that will be in the array format and also i just have to display the message so here i'm just going to write here echo and inside this i'm just going to write here json encode inside this i'm just going to copy this display message i'll just copy this one and here i'm just going to paste that one okay because this i have to display the message i have to display the message so i have to echo okay in php we have to echo only then it is going to display the message now here i'm just going to exit this one okay or once it is done we have to exit okay this is how we are going to perform this action if my action is equal to delete user and this action i have passed inside script.js you can see here inside data i have passed and here i have just passed this action okay now here once it is done i am just getting the user id okay if my user id is not empty then whichever button i have clicked i am just getting that one or else i am just assigning the value as empty okay if my user id if i am getting user id from here if my user id is not empty only then i have to perform this delete and here i have called this delete function okay now once i get this delete function once the data is been deleted here i am just checking that whether i have clicked on cancel or okay if i would have clicked on okay then the message should be displayed like this now inside success we will be displaying the message or else the message should not displayed so i am just giving here zero and here i am just writing here echo statement and here i have just written json encode and display message okay now inside script.js now here below this we just have to write success now here i am just going to write success and inside this i am just going to call this function inside this i'll be writing here user okay now for better understanding let me just write here response okay res response and here i'll be writing comma okay so that i will not be having any error now inside this success i am just having this function now here i am having this if result if response if it is deleted okay if it is equal to equal to 1 only then i have to display the message so here before that inside index.php before this let me just come here before okay below this h1 i just have to display the message like this below this heading i have to display the message so here 
so here i'm just going to write here div and here i'll just write here display message display message as my class okay now inside this div container i just have to display that message i'll save this before that let me just write here hello i'll save this and i'll just show you the output i'll come here i'll refresh this one okay now you can see here here i'm having this hello so in place of this i just want to display that message okay now script.js now here i'm having if result if it is equal to deleted okay if it is equal to deleted only then i have to display the message so here i'm just going to access that class i'll just paste that display message class whatever i have given and inside this i'm just going to write here html and here i'll be writing user user deleted user deleted successfully and also i just have to fade in the message okay i don't want that message should be displayed forever i don't want that to happen so here i'm just going to do fade in okay if you are aware of little bit of jquery then you will be knowing about this fade in and i just want to fade in fade in for some delay let me just give some delay and delay i'll just give here two uh two seconds something like that two two five zero zero or three thousand whatever you want you can just give it that one and after that i just have to fade out fade in fade out and also i have just given some delay now once it is done now rest users whatever i am having inside the database that should be displayed and using this get users function the data will be displayed i'm just going to copy and here i'm just going to paste that one and also let me just write one console console dot log done okay inside console this message will be displayed let me come here let me just remove this hello from here inside index.php now from here i'm just going to remove this hello i'll save this okay now here i'm just going to come now when i click on this delete message now you can see i'm getting this are you sure you want to the list if i cancel this one the data will not be deleted but if i just click on okay the data will be deleted and here i'll be having this user has been deleted successfully okay, later we are just going to do the styling for that one okay we will be adding some bootstrap classes and the data will be displayed to me like this let me just come here i'll delete you can see the data will be displayed like this we are going to perform like this later on okay but this is how we are just going to delete the data now whenever i click on this you can see the data will be deleted and here i am having this output okay now because i am having only three data inside my database so the pagination has gone now here if i just enter some data let me just add ramesh submit now you can see the data is there again i'm just going to add one more data submit i'll just click on submit now you can see i got this pagination and inside the second page i'm having this data okay this is how we are going to perform and whenever i click on this delete message i will be getting this confirmation whether i should delete this message or not okay once i delete okay the data will be deleted from the database as well okay this is how we are going to perform delete function just come here and here if you see let me just come to script.js first inside user.php i have just created the function i'll just come here uh, okay i have just created this function function delete row and inside this i have performed all these activities and inside script.js i have written this on click event okay whenever i click on this delete button okay delete user i just have to delete this one and inside ajax.php i have just called that action okay whenever i do this action i should display the message and also i'm just calling this function okay once you practice this one you will understand we are creating function then we are writing on click events and then finally we are performing actions so only these three things we are doing to perform that particular action now we are left with viewing the profile whenever i click on the user view profile i have to see that user's data and also we are left with searching the data whenever i search any data that data should be displayed to me okay this is all about delete function now next we are going to perform viewing data of the user